Good afternoon, Brighton Bruins. This is your Just So You Know for May 24. First and foremost, as you know, last night we announced that we would not be able to return full-time for in-person 6 through 12 for the remainder of this year. The number as it stands today is 121. That's the seven-day rolling average cases per 100,000 residents. The weight is calculated by the CDC and our state and local health departments as well. Unfortunately, that will not allow us to open. That's not discretionary. We don't have an option. That's exactly what the number tells us. The rate of decline last week at this time would have told us that today would have been possible and Wednesday even more likely so. But unfortunately, the numbers went up again midweek and that rate of decline did not continue. Numbers went back down today. We're glad to see that, but still that number stands at 121 and it needed to be below 100. We wanted to give people as much notice last week and unfortunately that number just didn't continue. We see no reason why we wouldn't open full-time next year in September. The governor made comments to that extent, in fact, today, and we expect to see guidance that makes sense around that, uh, something we've wanted for quite a long time, and we will work over the summer to make sure all of our plans include contingencies uh, to accommodate that guidance so that we can come back. See, no reason why that uh, can't happen. Also wanted to mention to you uh, very much uh, our thanks to you for your support of the budget. 81% voting yes last week. And thank you very much for that kind of support. Respectful of the 19% that voted no too and considering the feedback that we receive in ways that we can think differently about the budget, the best accommodate and support the resources of everybody in the community. And congratulations to Christina Lee returning to the board and Esther Winter who will be a new board member next year. Very excited for us all to work as a team in supporting the district and the district's work. Also wanted to mention to you how much we appreciate the Senior Car Parade, all the great things happening as we look at the end of the year, events in each of the buildings. Thank you for that. And last but certainly not least, I do want to say this. Hate has no place here. As we've seen tremendous division in our country and, and continued concern uh, for the, the hatred that's been displayed, the kinds of uh, bigotry and structural racism and certainly implicit unconscious and sometimes explicit bias, whether that's experienced by the Asian American Pacific Islander community, the black indigenous or people of color community, or frankly, the incredible rise in anti-Semitism that we're seeing right now, only exacerbated certainly by tensions last week. We just want to make sure that we're expressing very clearly that hate has no place here. And we are not a political organization. We don't support a party or candidates, but we are an organization that provides care, support, and reaches out to celebrate the differences among us, to embrace and support equity and inclusion at every turn and in every way that we possibly can. And we will continue to do that. Our message is one of humanity. Our message is one of support. Our message is one of saying that we care and love for each and every individual and member of our community and we celebrate their uniqueness and difference and look forward to continuing to do so. That is the message we send here at school. We appreciate your support of that and thinking about that at home and with your children as well. And finally, we would ask that you let us know if there are resources we can provide and ways we can provide additional uh, support or help for your family or an individual or address concerns that you may have at school. Take care. Thank you very much for all of your support. We hope you have a great week, a safe week, and we'll talk to you soon.